who created who? Did man make the statues or did the statues make man? These are the things you ponder amongst the mist and the prayer flags up on a mountain rock that's had a soul put in its heart. For more than 2000 years, this elevated site called Dambula has been a spiritual center for Buddhists in Sri Lanka. When the religion arrived on the small island nation in the 3rd century BC, caves at the top provided shelter for monks and a form of monastery was formed in the spaces nature had created for them. Our journey to Dambula was after braving a sudden Sri Lankan shower. You need to climb the stairs, lots of them, up the rock to get to the top for the real temple. Buy your ticket at the bottom and then after nearly 20 to 30 minutes of climbing stairs and possibly fighting off overconfident monkeys, you will finally reach the entrance. The beautiful Royal Rock Temple complex sits about 160 meters above the road in the southern part of Dambula. Five separate caves contain about 150 absolutely stunning Buddha statues. The Dambula Cave Temple is located approximately 150 kilometers northeast of Colombo and 70 kilometers north of Kandy. Five separate caves contain about 150 absolutely stunning Buddha statues with paintings which are mostly of the great Gautama Buddha, Vishnu and Ganesh, housing some of Sri Lanka's most important and evocative religious art. The Buddha images were first created here over 2000 years ago and over the centuries subsequent kings added to and embellished the cave art. The largest cave measures about 52 meters from east to west and 23 meters from the entrance to the back. This spectacular cave is 7 meters tall at its highest point. Dambula is thought to have been a place of worship since the 1st century BC when King Valagamba, also known as Vattagamani Abhaya, was driven out of Anuradhapura and he took refuge here. When he regained his throne, he had the interior of the caves carved into magnificent rock temples. Further paintings were made by later kings, including King Nisanka Malla, who had the cave's interiors gilded, earning the place the name Rangiri, which also means the Golden Rock. This process of retouching original and creating new artwork continued into the 20th century. Remarkably, the overall impact is breathtakingly coherent. The Dambula Caves are by far the most impressive of the many cave temples found in Sri Lanka. If you stand atop the Dambula Rock, you experience a panoramic view of the surrounding flatlands, which also includes the rock fortress, Sigiriya, about 19 kilometers away. The Dambula Cave Temple is one of Sri Lanka's 11 UNESCO World Heritage Sites 
and a must visit if one is planning for a trip to Sri Lanka. It is your epic encounter with Sri Lanka's history.